Hey everyone, Nick Eilerman here. I'm super excited today because I got in my G Technology G Speed Shuttle XL 18 terabyte 8 bay Thunderbolt 2 RAID array with two EV adapters. All right, so let's get a pair of scissors here and open this box up. I've been looking forward for this purchase for a while. Um, I actually been kind of avoiding it and using just a ton of backup hard drives like the Seagate, uh, backup plus hubs and um, other drives like that. I have too many and it is time to kind of break that cycle and get something that's a uh, a little bit more reliable, redundant, and um, something that's gonna increase my workflow tremendously. All right, so this thing, it's pretty heavy. I think uh, with packaging and everything, I believe it's like 31 pounds or something like that. But, I think this will all fit in frame here. Got some cardboard. Let's see if we can actually put this up on the table. It's not bad. That is really nice. Okay. So G-Speed Shuttle XL, I've already said that a million times. Um, what's nice about this, it has the two EV uh, bay adapters. And so what I'm gonna use that for is, one of these is gonna be for my uh, 1DX Mark II CFast memory card. They make a, an adapter so you can take it right out of the camera, pop it right into here and I mean, just start you know ripping it off to the um the other hard drives saving that and then they also have a second one over here and what i'm gonna do with that one is i have the atomos ninja flame it's actually right over here uh and it has a one terabyte actually it's right behind me where is it this guy so they have a um they partnered with uh, Atomos, and they have a Atomos Master Caddy 4K. This might have been in one of my other videos, um, but this is a one terabyte SSD. And what this does is it actually uh, goes into the back of my um, uh, the Atomos Ninja Flame, so you can d record directly to the SSD drive. And then when you're finished filming, you can pull the, the SSD out, and then it slides right into uh, this uh, EV dock. Um, obviously, you got to buy the adapter that this fits in to go in here, but those are the two things that I'll be using all the time to pull footage off the 1DX Mark II and pull footage off, uh, for example, like when I'm doing this video right now. So, let's put this back up. And uh, definitely a heavy box. ton of security tape on here. It's all good. Okay, so the first thing, move this off the side. So the first thing we have is a G Technology box. That's what we got in here. So inside here we have the uh, power cable. It's like normal IEC power cable. They provide a Thunderbolt cable, which is nice. Um, got some rubber sticky feet to help uh, it stay in place. Might help a little bit on vibration. Uh, we have the G-Speed Shuttle XL Quick Start Guide. And then we have a 
three year limited warranty pack right there. So I'm just gonna kind of put this all back in here. Save that for later. It's packaged very well. It's got some really nice hard plastic here. And here it comes. It is, okay. All right, that is, uh, that is much, that is much more heavier than, than, than it felt when I first took it out of the box. I don't know, it's probably because I'm excited. It's all good. So again, we have some electrostatic bag, which is pretty nice. I think this is an electrostatic bag. Or it's just warning me to uh, discharge myself. Of course, I don't have any of that type of stuff. Anyway, oh man, this thing is nice. Like you can even smell, smell how new it is. Okay. Let's check this out. Of course, I'm gonna have some very nice b-roll here in a little bit to uh, go over all the specs so right now we're just going to kind of turn this thing around so you guys can look at it um, this case i thought it was in all the videos it kind of looks a little cheap like you're, you think you're getting a plastic case um but this is uh it's, it's solid it's a solid 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 drive but um not that I should be knocking on it when we have some hard drives in here. Um, let's see what I want to show you guys first. All right, so we got the door right here. Let get to where we can see it better. All right, so here is the front of the unit. And I think we can just open this up. Ooh, you guys got to see the inside before I did. So you see right down here at the bottom, we got the two EV adapters. So again, there'll be these little plastic cards that you can buy. Um, like right now, B&H, they're about 100 bucks each. But one will be to allow you to do like a red mini mag or um, like a CFast card reader, which I'm going to be getting to go here. And then the second one, I'll be getting the, uh, the Atomos um, one terabyte SSD caddy. Uh, so that'll go right there. And so inside here, um, we have six hard drives, uh, they're three terabytes each, and they are enterprise class hard drives, uh, three and a half inch hard drives. Um, you got the six SATA bays, and then uh, the two EV adapters like I was telling you guys. So I'll spin it around here to the back. Go ahead and close this. And if you guys didn't know, these are actually, these are rubber. Are like really hard rubber pieces. They're not metal or plastic. They're actually like a, I guess to dampen vibration. It's a pretty cool case. And then up here, it has like a little thing where you can lock it or unlock it. So if you lock it, you can move it over. There you go. And that way the door doesn't come open. All right, let's spin this thing around. Okay, so right here in the back, got some tape here, I guess this is for shipping. Uh, so back here you got two Thunderbolt 2 ports. Um, got the power button, Kensington lock. Uh, this is to mute the, I believe the beep when it turns on. It's got to be, uh, I think it's, I've heard it has a loud beep, so. That doesn't really bother me. So you got that. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why I decided to go with this unit. Um, I probably spent about two weeks trying to figure out which way I was gonna go. Was it gonna get a NAS system, uh, network attached storage that had a ton of storage, you know, anywhere, anywhere from like 16 to 24 terabytes, they kind of like that range. Um, was, the, was the budget that I was looking for. Uh, however, 
there is really kind of two routes that you could go. One was to, um, and this is just an example, but one was you could get a Drobo. Um, it has a, it's a really good entry level price uh, for those units. Uh, you can just get the unit by itself. And uh, some of those, you know, they have uh, five bay units. And then I was gonna fill those five bay units up with uh, five um, four terabyte Ironworth, uh, Seagate Ironworth drives to, um, and that was gonna be essentially where I was gonna back everything up to. So it's like, hey, you know, that sounds like a good idea. Um, I'm not gonna actually be able to edit in real time the way I would like to on that unit, but at least all my stuff will be redundantly backed up. Uh, you know, if a drive goes bad, and I have it in either a RAID 5 or 6, or um, as for the Drobo in that matter, uh, their uh, Beyond RAID setup, um, I would have that redundancy and protection of all my files so that if a hard drive did fail, I could replace it and then it could um, rebuild itself. So that was one way was to go with a NAS. Um, also look into Synology and I got really close to actually buying one of their units. Um, but at the same time, I went down this path of, okay, do I get a unit? Do I get a uh, unit that has a 10 gigabit um, ethernet on the back? Uh, do I do the link aggregation or port aggregation and, and combine those two and then get a switch? Um, or get like one of the Netgear routers that have uh, the link aggregation built into it. Um, and then all of a sudden I just started finding myself, uh, like the equipment started adding up, the, all the stuff, it, it started to get pretty complicated. And when I started with say, um, like a $600 to $1,000 budget or $1,200 budget, I was sacrificing a lot and uh, just to get storage redundancy, but I was completely forgetting about speed and speed was the main reason that I wanted to get a new system because I've been using USB 3.0 for the whole entire time. Um, and then Thunderbolt 1 speeds with the, uh, with the three terabyte G drives that I used to have. Um, so what I decided to do was I said, hey, let me step back. I need the speed and I'm gonna have to pay a premium for it. If you guys have researched all the Thunderbolt 2 stuff, the, the Pegasus units, the um, like the Lacey Big 6 or Big 5, I'm not, I'm not sure which ones those were, but if you've looked at those, they're anywhere around you know $3,000 to $2,500. Um, so this unit on uh, B and H was uh, one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars, and then I had a uh, thirteen dollar or thirteen dollar credit gift certificate for B and H. <laughs> Took it down a little bit, but um, it's a lot of money. But I felt with this purchase, I got the speed that I wanted uh, from the Thunderbolt two, uh, and then at the same time, I got the um, I got the redundancy. Uh, and protection of RAID. So um, this unit, I believe, comes uh, pre-configured with the uh, RAID uh, RAID 5 on it. Um, you can do RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, and RAID 10, but it should come preloaded with uh, RAID 5. Um, this states that it does data transfer rates up to 1300 uh, megabits per second, but uh, the speed test that I've seen uh, online, um, it's still high, don't get me wrong. I think it's like 800, 800 range, but uh, that's completely fast, <laughs> fast enough for me. I mean, I haven't got any, I have not ever done anything over like 100 or 200. And um, so, I think I'll be very happy with this when I when I start editing my films. I hope this unboxing helped you guys out um, make a decision on uh, you know maybe what storage um, what RAID storage you want to go with. 
Uh, I'm still completely down for getting a NAS in the future and then maybe having that be my uh, third tier of backup, you know, maybe at an off-site location um, for my next step. Um, but for right now, I needed speed and I needed uh, redundant uh, redundancy in, um, in, my, in my workflow. And uh, I really think this is going to, uh, to do it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. Uh, I'd love to have you guys subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna have more review videos um, and they're all kind of, they're all over the place. So I'm really into backpacking. So I got some videos, um, some really cool cinematic videos of doing some hikes up in the North Carolina mountains. Um, doing product reviews like this and then um, uh, my main business which I do uh, I do wedding films so those are on there on the channel too so uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you guys in the next video